What, the tomahawk? Go for it. The hatchet out of her. Oh, that's the stuff. Got it. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Today, I wanted to talk about a certain throwable tool that you've probably overlooked. If you haven't considered the... Ah! Okay, okay, jokes aside, the throwing axes in Hunt Showdown are absolutely fantastic. Never fear Concertina Armored ever again. And honestly, that's it. That's the whole video. You don't even need anything more from me. Just, just use them. That's it. Concertina Armored. They suck. Video over. Done. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay, seriously. As we all know, stealth is a pretty big component of Hunt Showdown. Even the most seasoned player doesn't really want to give away their position all the time. And even if they do want to give away their position all the time, they're going to face the same problems that a throwing axe could solve. That is, chunk your AI or the ability to remove AI silently. So, in August 25th, 2021, Hunt Showdown had the Light in the Fog event, which added new hunters, new hunter skins, uh, weapons, traits, all that good stuff to the game, like a bow, but it also included the throwing axes. Now, I've seen a lot of people sleep on these fantastic beauties. I love them so much. And they thought that the bow was the only real standout addition to the patch. And whilst that probably was true at the time, because the bow wasn't nerfed, and it has been since, because it sort of needed it, people didn't really understand how good throwing axes were, and I truly believe have been sleeping on them. The throwing axe is absolutely wonderful. Uh, it can be unlocked by gaining 1,000 experience with the combat axe, and after doing so, that's it. You have the throwing axes. It's it's pretty simple. It's not like other weapon trees where you have to... It's down the end of the tree, and you have to grind and grind and grind to get it. Pick up a combat axe, get a thousand experience, and blam, you've got them. You can probably do that in one game, uh, but if not one, definitely two. Just make sure you kill a boss with it. So, first and foremost, throwing axes, much like the knives, are completely silent throwable tools. There is a slight distinctive whooshing sound if one is thrown at you. It's really only about two meters or so, and you're not going to hear it coming until you're pretty much dead. So the sound radius is so small as to be considered silent, so it's definitely a silent throwable. But that's fantastic if you're trying to clear a compound stealthily, or you're trying to eliminate a problematic AI that's in your way. So I spoke before that even players who are trying to draw attention to them, you know, the ones go in and shoot everything, like me actually, uh, they're going to suffer the same problem, and that's armors actually, just armored, either the basic variety or the concertina ones. It doesn't matter how much noise you're trying to make, armors force you to deal with them, and they're usually quite a pain. The biggest separation between the throwing knife and the throwing axes, though, is that the throwing axes are capable of one-shotting armors in the body, right? You just hit them in the body and they're dead. The head as well, of course. And you can one-shot concertina armors if you headshot them. So if you land an axe in the head of a concertina armored, it's just dead. This is amazing for stealthily getting around. But more importantly, it's that concertina armors are f and I hate them. And I don't think anyone likes them. And these bad boy throwables kill them in one hit. So never again will you worry about them chasing you down mid-fight. So yeah, sure, you could take a flare pistol, which is often something I see a lot of players do. That's usually their alternative. But although you gain the one-shot ability with a flare pistol, you also give away your position by the giant glowing flare and the screaming of the zombie you decided to burn. Also, unlike a throwing axe or throwing knife, you can't go back and re-pick up your flare once you've shot it. You have to find a consumable toolbox or loot off a player to replenish that tool that you have lost. Also, there is really one big important thing that the flare pistol and throwing knives cannot do. And that is, you can't one-shot a player by tagging them in the body. If you hit a hunter in the chest or higher with a throwing axe, they're just dead. That's it, they're just, they're just f***ing dead. They're silently dead. Drop from however many meters with no giveaway in position unless their teammate happened to see the whirling axe appear from a rough direction, which, you know, you've really got to be paying attention to see that. So, much like their smaller but less effective counterpart, the throwing axe can be retrieved from the environment. Also, if you rip them out of an AI or a player, or even a door, you'll actually cause damage to the thing you're pulling it out of. So, if you happen to hit 
a zombie or a player in the limb, you can then rip it out if you get close enough for the finisher. This makes throwing axes not only silent, but also actually quite an economical choice. As, much like your first romantic lover, they can be used over and over again until you either forget they exist or you lose them in a swamp somewhere. So, they one-shot players, they one-shot armors, and they one-shot all other basic AI except meatheads with a body shot. They also one-shot Constantina armors by hitting them in the head. They have a very strong melee attack, I think 160 plus damage, capable of one-shotting a player if you hit them in the body when used with the assailant trait. You have to have a trait to, uh, to access the 160 damage, otherwise it's like 140 something. They are silent, they're reusable, and they're retrievable from the world. And they're able to be located easier due to their size, their length, and they're also affected by the blade seer trait that makes them easier to spot. So, with all of this, you'd imagine, most likely, that they cost maybe 100 plus hunt dollars? No, not at all. The throwing axes cost 30 hunt dollars. 30. At the time of writing, the throwing axes also have two shiny skins, compared to the throwing knives four. What a shame. So, doing a quick stat comparison here, the stats of the throwing knives are highlighted in white, whilst the throwing axes are highlighted red. As you can see, the throwing axes outperform the knives in all ways related to damage. But like I said, the damage stats you can see, the throwing axes outperform them entirely. What does this mean? Well, when you boil it down, throwing axes are, in my opinion, a better choice once you learn to use them. And, and I know that's pretty much like every single weapon in Hunt. When you learn to use it, it's the thing to go for. But I really do believe that throwing axes are mwah. They're so good, but you've got to learn to use them. For starters, the throwing axes have more of a trajectory arc because they're heavier, so you need to aim higher to hit your target further away. Anything outside of uh, 20, 30 meters, you're probably just better off lining the headshot up with your firearm if you've got the element of surprise. Although, snapping someone with a tomahawk if you're really good with them from, you know, 40 meters is just, mwah, oh, it feels so good. However, just take the safe option, line up the headshot, and just level the playing field. They sink heavier, which is kind of a pain. You also come in with fewer of them. As a result, you don't have the same margin for error. You come in with two, as opposed to the throwing knife six. So that higher risk, though, is balanced by the sheer power of these things. Because they, as you can see with the damage stats, they really hit hard. And if you have that assailant trait, even the melee hits hard. Also, slight small fact... With the assailant trait, when you charge a heavy attack, your hand, your arm, your whole arm goes in front of your face. So if someone shoots near your head, they're going to just get an arm shot rather than a head shot. It's a small thing, but if you angle yourself correctly, you can make it so that someone's going to hit you in the arm rather than the head. It's a really, really small thing. It's really kind of cheeky and niche, and now I'm expecting every cane player in the world to do it, but just... Yeah, it's a really, really cool thing. Uh, only with the assailant trait on the heavy axe. Uh, heavy axes. I call them heavy axes on the throwing axes. I've done a whole video on them and I'm calling them heavy axes. I think the throwing axes are the superior throwing weapon choice because of their effectiveness. And not just cost wise, also due to the fact that their damage against players and sturdier AI, again, armors, is just fantastic. You never have to worry about an armored ever again. And you can take them out silently, which is beautiful. The next time you're looking for something silent, deadly, and that doesn't come out of your <laughs> Consider the throwing axes. The learning curve is steep, but much like everything in Hunt, once you get to grips with it, you'll be rewarded with some brilliant utility and lethality. And that about wraps it up for me, guys. So if you like this sort of thing, like this sort of stuff, you can catch me six days a week at varying times over my Twitch channel. It doesn't matter what I'm playing, I'm always happy to answer Hunt questions. It, it can be f***ing Minecraft. I don't care. I'll answer your questions. And I hope this finds you well. Hope 2022 is going well for you so far. And I'll see you in the next one. Also, you can hit bells with them. I mean, come on. Best tool in the game.